Okay, so I'm just going to run through here um, a few steps um, to do with bringing a sequence of still images into Final Cut Pro. So what I've got is uh, about 40 seconds worth of um, Targa still images that I'm going to bring in and then I want to make a selection um, specifically of five seconds of those images. So in the first instance we're just going to look at how to set the duration of those images and then bring them in as a, a complete folder and then how we can kind of do some nesting of sequences to actually define a specific duration within the timeline but still be able to edit the selection of that that specific uh, selection. So if we dive into Final Cut and go into the user preferences first in the editing tab here we're just going to change the still freeze duration from the default 12 seconds to one frame. Okay, So our images are running at 12, 25 frames per second and so we just uh, need to adjust that here. So I click OK and then if I go to File, Import, and I have a folder of images so I'm going to select Import Folder. Okay, So I've got my folder of images here. So click Choose. Okay, so I'll just click the little disclosure arrow here and we can see that the frame size of these is 1280 by 720 running at 25 frames per second and their Targa format. So if I scroll to the left again here I can see the duration for each of these images now one frame. Okay, so I've got my sequence here set up. We'll just check the settings. So if we go into Sequence and Settings, we can see I've got the same frame size, so 1280 by 720, with a square pixel aspect ratio, and editing time base 25 frames per second. There's no interlacing, so I've got field dominance off. And um, the compressor for this, I'm going to actually change this to the Apple ProRes. 422 um, compressor. So click OK there and then what I can do is just drop this sequence of images right down onto the timeline. Okay so I've got my images here and if I just click the timeline and do toggle shift and Z you can view to the whole timeline so you can see I've got 40 seconds of images that's my duration um, now what I want to do is I want to nest this sequence within another sequence which means that I can then more easily define a specific duration so if I go to file new and sequence I'll just call this recode decode nest double click on this to bring it up, then I can edit this sequence, the original sequence into the new sequence, get it to match the, the clip to match the sequence to match the clip settings, and dive down into the timeline, toggle shift and Z again to view the whole timeline and you can see I've got my sequence nested there in my second sequence. So if I drag this up to the, the viewer, this is where I can start to define that specific duration. So if I go up to the duration field at the top left here, I can type in 5, full stop, and you can see the duration of that selection has changed in the viewer as well as um, changing in the timeline. Okay, so if I select the, the slip tool, my tools bar here, then I can actually dive up into the viewer and start to drag that selection around okay? and use the play into out button to review the selection. 